Hello, everybody. We're going to be going over the lesson, making an appointment with a friend. So we're going to go over some dialogue patterns in which we can make an appointment with, with a friend of ours. So the, it, the title is pretty self-explanatory. Now we're going to go ahead and start with the question. The question you ask a friend when you want to make an appointment. Now the question that we have is, would you like to, and then you got to give um, the name of a plan. You got to think of something that you want to do with your friends. So that can um, like, like go hiking. We can ask a question. Would you like to go hiking? Would you like to go hiking? Now you can either say, at the, you can usually put at the end of the question this week, which means the week that you are in right now, or next week, which will be the following week of the week you are presently in at the present moment. So would you like to go mountain hiking this week? Would you like to go mountain hiking next week? So the plan can be anything. It can be, you know, playing video, uh, to, to play video games. Would you like to play video games next week? Would you like to get some drinks or grab some drinks next week? So just, uh, you can put any plan in here that you would like to do. Okay, now there's two answers that you can give this question when someone asks you you know would you like to go mountain hiking this week if you are up for it if you do want to go mountain hiking then you can just answer with this right here sure sure is yes i'd like that i'd like that so we know the demonstrative pronoun here, this, uh, that is responding to the, the plan. So sure, I'd like that. So this is just responding to something that was previously mentioned in this question, which the plan that we're using is to go mountain hiking. Mountain hiking comes to mind because I love mountain hiking. So this would be the positive answer. You can say this, and there, there's plenty of others. You can just say, sure. You can, you can just say, sure, that's okay. Um, but if you just want to give a full response, just say, sure, I'd like that. Now, there may come a point to where you cannot meet up for the appointment. Um, so in this case, if you have to refuse your friend's question, what you want to do first is apologize. This is very polite. You want to say, I'm sorry or sorry. You need to let your friend know that you are apologizing for the fact that you cannot, you cannot make it to go mountain hiking or to play video games or to go to the pub to get some drinks. You, uh, you need to say, I'm sorry. So it's the polite thing to do. Um, then you can follow up with this. I'd like to. So this is just saying that, yes, you are interested in going mountain hiking or playing video games. So I'd like to. This is just short for I'd like to, whatever the plan is. I'd like to go mountain hiking. This is just a, a shorter version. So I'd like to, but our conjunction, but is introducing a contrasting point. So you want to go mountain hiking, but something is stopping you. And what is stopping you? Typically because you're busy. This is the most common answer for refusing an appointment. It's because people are busy. Sorry, I'd like to, but I'm busy this week or I'm busy next week, depending on what the asker uses in their question. Would you like to go mountain hiking next week? I'm sorry. I'd like to, 
but I'm busy next week. So now that we've established that we do want to meet our friend uh, for, for an appointment, you know, to go hiking or to, to grab some drinks or to play video games, any, any kind of activity, um, now we've got to establish the day of or, or the time that we're going to meet our friend. Now, the first thing your friend will ask when once you agree to have an appointment with them is they will ask you, how about this or next? And then they're going to give you a day such as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's go ahead and pick Friday. Let's go ahead and pick Friday. That is the best day of the week. How about this Friday? How about next Friday? This will be optional. Um, if the Friday lands, if the Friday is in the week and that you are in presently, you don't need this. You can say, how about Friday? That's fine. Or you can say, how about this Friday? And of course, we're using next. That's going to be the Friday after this week. How about next Friday? This will be your friend or this could be you asking the question of what day you want your appointment to be on. Now, of course, with this question, we've got two answers. This is a bit of a longer dialogue here. And of course, we've got a yes and we've got a no. As you can see with the little happy faces here, the happy face is saying yes, the sad face is saying no. Um, let's start with yes first. So remember, sure, this is just kind of a casual way to say yes. Sure, sure. So I know it reads S-U-R-E, so it's like sur, sir, but um, you want to use sh, sh, so just like S-H, S-H, sure. Then you can say, sure, I'm free. When you say I'm free, it means you've got nothing to do on that day. There, there's, there's no plans. You have no plans that day except for this appointment with your friend. Sure, I'm free this Friday. Sure, I'm free next Friday. And remember this it's optional. You can say, sure, I'm free Friday. As long as the Friday is within the week that you are in right now. Now, of course, we've also got the no answer. So again, when we are refusing an appointment, if we're refusing a day, um, just want to say, no, I can't make it this Friday. No, I can't make it next Friday. Now I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm sorry here. So again, when you're refusing, it's best just to say, I'm sorry. Um, again, I am or I'm, that's optional. You can say, sorry, no, I can't make it this Friday. Sorry, I can't make it next Friday. So yes, you can go ahead and apologize um, if you'd like. Um, well, yes, it's going to be the polite thing to do. Um, so just just apologize because your friend is making an appointment and they're trying. They want to hang out with you, so it is polite to just kind of apologize to them when you refuse the appointment or the day that they have given you in which they want to meet you. Okay, now that we've said yes to the appointment and we've gotten our day of the appointment, the next question that's going to be asked is about the time. What time are we going to meet up? Um, so yes, the, the question that will be asked is how about, and then your friend will give you a time. Um, let, let's make it easy. Let's just say one o'clock. How about... One o oh, clock. 
How about one o'clock? Be advised. That's optional. You can say, how about one? How about one o'clock? How about one? Both the same thing. It's going to be the exact same. It's the exact thing. The exact same thing. The person's going to understand. Uh, so how about one? How about one o'clock? Okay. Um, now, you know, to say yes, if you are agreeing to this, just say one o'clock sounds great. One o'clock sounds great. You can also say one sounds great. So when we're saying sounds great, it's just in your head. You're thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's great. Yes. So that's uh, why we're using sounds. Um, one sounds great. Now we've got a very long answer for no. I'm very sorry, it is a long answer. Again, if you're refusing a time, apologize first. If you're refusing a person's suggestion for time, day, or you're refusing their appointment, apologize. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now we've got this expression here, I've got something going on. That means there's an event happening at that time on that day for you. Um, what, what was our day? It was Friday, right? Maybe on Friday at one o'clock, maybe you have an, another appointment or maybe you're having lunch with a friend and you can't make it for mountain hiking or shopping at this time. So I've got something going on. It's just a very general idea that explains that there's a previous appointment that you have to attend, that you have to attend to. I'm sorry, I've got something going on at one or one o'clock, whatever you choose to say. I'm sorry, I've got something going on at one o'clock. And then what was our day? It was Friday. Um, again, this, uh, it's optional if the Friday is within the week. Um, sorry, I've got something going on at one Friday. So you just, uh, you, you don't have to use this. Um, or I'm sorry, I've got something going on at one next Friday, if the Friday follows. Um, right here. How about another time instead? I'm sorry, I got instead a little bit crammed here. When we use instead, we are suggesting an alternative. We're suggesting something different. We're trying, we want to meet our friend, but we're trying to make a compromise. We can't meet at one because we've got something going on, whatever it may be. So instead is introducing an alternative. So we can say, how about two o'clock? How about two o'clock instead? So you're just giving the person who's making the appointment, you're giving them an alternative. How about two o'clock instead? Or how about two instead? The clock, remember, optional. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say that you're going to say, yes, yes, one o'clock. I'm just going to write one o'clock there. One o'clock sounds great. One o'clock sounds good. One o'clock sounds excellent. <laughs> uh, you, you can say sounds excellent. You can think of any positive adjective. Sounds excellent. Sounds great. Sounds wonderful. Sounds amazing. So anything you want to choose, you don't have to stick with great. Um, now, the last thing your friend is going to do is they are probably going to make a confirmation with you. They're going to explain all the details one more time. So they're probably going to say, OK, I'll meet you at and then they're going to give you a meeting place. Your friend is probably already going to know the meeting place. So if we're going if we're going to go hiking, that's going to be at a mountain. So I'll meet you at ABC Mountain. 
Road. There is no ABC Mountain, but I'll meet you at ABC Mountain at, and then they're going to give you the time. I'll meet you at ABC Mountain at one, and they'll say either this, it's optional, um, or next, and then Friday. Okay, I'll meet you at ABC Mountain at one Friday. I'll meet you at ABC Mountain at one Friday. So um, that is going to conclude this lesson. I do want to thank you very much for following along. And that, yes, that concludes everything. So have a great day.